welcome to another episode of Stogie Review Video Review. And uh, as always, I am Walt, and I'm here to give you a weekly cigar review. And uh, this week, I happen to have uh, uh, a size of cigar that was requested, which is the, uh, the short or cigarillo. And uh, this particular cigar is the Davidoff cigarillo. Uh, these are machine made. Uh, I just learned that now. It's kind of unfortunate. But uh, I was really hoping that, you know, a I, I, big name like this would be a handmade cigar. But uh, nonetheless, it is machine made in Denmark and the Netherlands. Um, this looks to be just uh, their Cigarillo, which is a 20 by 3 and a half. Or, you know what? Uh, you know, this is probably more uh, along the lines of their Club Cigarillo, which is a 23 by 4. Uh, this isn't quite uh, 3 and a half, I don't think. But then again, I really don't have a ruler on me, so it's a guess at this point. Um, th these cigars are, are are made with all you know all real tobacco, nothing that's uh, you know it's not homogenized tobacco, pipe tobacco, anything like that. It's uh, you know top quality tobacco, uh, natural leaf, which is dry cured for smoothness. Um, and it says they all feature a Sumatra wrapper, uh, Java binder, and filler. Uh, and, and fillers from Brazil and Indonesia, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get started on this little guy. Uh, I don't usually smoke these particular cigars. Uh, I happen to be smoking this one tonight because uh, there was a request for small cigars, and because I'm short on time, and I just happen to have one. Actually, I have two. Uh, they were a gift from uh, Tri Shield from Club Stogie. So, Dave, uh, thanks a lot for the cigars. Uh, it's been a little while since you gave them to me, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, look at that. It's already cut for me. I don't even need to bother. <laughs> That's a first. I've never had a cigar that was pre-cut, but I guess uh, machine-made cigars, that happens. Or that's, a, that's a nice little feature. The, uh, uh, as you would think, I mean, a cigar, a cigar this size, is uh, the, the draw is a little firm. And it actually felt a little soft as soon as I put it in my mouth. Uh, it doesn't feel bad. I mean, uh, it doesn't feel as soft as it felt when I put it in my mouth. Maybe it's, yeah, it's just the, just the head of the cigar that's a little soft, but, um, it, it looks decent. I mean, it, it appears to be dry. Uh, you know, it's got a dry appearance. There's no oily sheen to it. Um, it's got like a, a toothy look to it. You know, it's got little bumps all over it. And, uh, the veins are very small. So, aesthetically, it, it's a nice looking cigar. So, uh, let's get started. And uh, again, due to its size, it's very, very easy to get lit. Uh, I've got a little bit of a runner starting on the back end. Uh, you probably can't see that my new lighting setup. But uh, aside from that, uh, it's good so far. I mean, the draw is not too bad. Uh, resting smells kind of heavy. Uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, puffing away, sort of like a cigarette would. And uh, you know, it just feels very uncomfortable. Uh, I'm just getting started, but it feels very uncomfortable. Uh, I, I typically don't smoke cigars that are this small, so this is uh, a first for me. But I guess when you get cigars that are are this small, a ring gauge, and you almost have to to uh, make them by machine, simply because you know it would take tiny little nimble fingers to roll that cigar without damaging it, but. Anyway, that's just my take. I uh, got the cigar lit. It's that little bit of a runner. It's corrected itself already. It's burning fairly fast. So uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. Be back in uh, a minute or a few seconds, whatever comes first, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get started and go a little further. So uh, see you in just a second. Welcome back, folks. Uh, I haven't been going very long. And uh, I'm getting into the cigar a little bit now. Uh, still in the first third. You know, I'm probably still within the first inch. Uh, judging by the ash, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm in the first inch. But uh, I was quickly reminded that uh, why I don't smoke these very often. 
Um, usually what I do is I'll turn the camera off, I'll set the cigar down in the ashtray, uh, I'll do whatever it is that I have to do, whether it's, you know, respond to an email, take a look at something on the site, uh, just, you know, forward through the musical tracks to, to hear something nice. Uh, whatever, I just try to do something that doesn't completely take my focus off the cigar, something, you know, quick and easy, uh, so I can really appreciate the cigar. And, uh, usually, I'll let the, I'll let the cigar sit in the ashtray two, three minutes, sometimes four minutes, and, uh, typically I don't have a problem with them going out. Um, I don't know, maybe two minutes went by, I reached for the cigar, picked it up, put it in my mouth, out. It's just, uh, I'm surprised. I mean, when I think of, like, dried things, um, I, I always get the, the mental image of this that cigarette sitting in the ashtray with the long giant ash because it just keeps on burning and it never goes out. And uh, you know, I, I, I was just kind of surprised to pick it up and and find that it had gone out, uh, much like a humid, you know, average cigar. Uh, maybe that's actually because I've been keeping these in the humidor, not knowing that they were dry cured. Uh, maybe they actually should be kept out of the humidor, but. Uh, that's a uh, mistake on my part, obviously. Uh, I should have researched them sooner. Now, the flavor is decent now. Uh, initially, as soon as I relit it, it was very sour and uh, it was just very unenjoyable. And uh, a lot of times it happens when you when you relight a cigar, but uh, it was just really pungent and in your face uh, with this little cigarillo. Uh, probably it's just because of the you know the small surface area and, and all the stuff collecting and, and everything like that. But um, in terms of how it's smoking, the uh, the ash is a little flimsy, um, and, and what I mean by that is it, it drops off in the ashtray with very little effort. Again, it's probably due to the small ring size. Uh, the burn is fantastic. It's it's very even, nice thin burn line. Uh, it doesn't seem to be getting overly hot, which is something I would expect from a cigar this small. But uh, it's staying nice and cool. Uh, it's burning nice and even. Uh, the resting smoke has, has slowed down considerably. Uh, it's fairly light now. Uh, I really don't smell anything in the air, so that I, I'm not really picking up much of an aroma. And uh, I've got all the windows shut today. It's, uh, it's actually pretty chilly outside, so uh, and it's raining. So I close the windows. I'm kind of trapped in a room, a big smoke box, but uh, I, I really can't smell anything just yet. So. Uh, so, so it's very mild in that sense. Uh, the body is uh, mild to medium. There's uh, not a whole lot of uh, you know body or, or strength uh, to it. But uh, the finish is nice and smooth. It's uh, it tastes clean and crisp. It's it's actually kind of nice. The, uh, the flavor is like, it's uh, sort of woody, and uh, that's really all I'm picking up. Um, I'm having a, a really tough time, you know, picking anything out of the cigar. It's just, uh, it's very mild, and uh, I'm just having a, a difficult time getting anything out of it other than the wood flavor. But uh, it's nice overall, so that's a, it's a big plus uh, <clears throat> at this point. Uh, it's, uh, it, I'm... Unfortunately, I've never had a Davidoff in a, in a larger size to compare it to, so this is, is my one and only uh, impression of the Davidoff. So, we'll just keep plugging along and see how things go. So, at any rate, oh yeah, uh, pairing this with tea, uh, China Kiman, I believe is what it's called. It's, uh, it was uh, one of the loose leaf tea samplers that I got. Um, and it's it seems to be fairly mild. It's going well with the cigar. Uh, I opted to go with the tea just because it's kind of chilly. Uh, no sense in kicking a heater on in August for uh, for chilly weather like this. Uh, and this it's uh, it's really uncomfortable because we went from like uh, in the 90s, all of a sudden it got just cold. But uh, uh, unexpected for this time of year. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to uh, smoking my cigar, listen to some more music. So I will be back in just a sec, and uh, we'll touch base on the second, third, and get moving right along. Welcome back, folks. I'm still plugging along. Uh, still having difficulty keeping this uh, this little cigarette lit, but uh, when I do, 
you know, it's producing a good volume of smoke. Uh, the flavor is decent. It's uh, it's still kind of woody. With uh, now I've got like a, a salty kind of component in there. And, uh, it's just enough to kind of make you salivate and uh, just kind of get to just kickstart your taste buds, I guess. Um, the body is picked up considerably. It's uh, you know it's like right in the middle of the medium range. Uh, the finish is still fairly smooth. It's easy on the palate. It's uh, it's not a bad cigar by any means. Uh, I'm just having difficulty keeping it lit, um, just because I'm the type of person that likes to set it in the ashtray and uh, forget about it for a few minutes and then pick it up and, and continue on, but uh, with this cigar you really have to keep on top of it or it's going to go out. But like I said, that could be a result of the fact of, uh, of me putting it inside of a, a humidor when uh, it's dry cured tobacco, so it, uh, it could be you know, directly my fault. But uh, I guess I'll really never know because, uh, you know, the two that I had were in the humidor and uh, there's no sense in taking the other one out now. I'll, uh, I'll just smoke that one in a day or two and uh, see if that see how that one performs as uh, compared to this one. I generally don't like smoking cigars uh, without, you know, experiencing one first. Uh, I, I don't like doing the videos on, on one cigar, but uh, you know, trying to fill a request, trying to get this review out last minute, uh, I decided to, to just go for it and uh, and do it. So hopefully I'm not too far off. And uh, if any anyone else has had one of these, uh, definitely post your comments. I'd love to hear what your opinions are and uh, maybe get some suggestions for some others. I don't typically smoke this kind of cigar, uh, tip it just because uh, I, I force myself to find the time. I don't like to, uh, to rush a cigar. And, th and this type of cigar, I would think that uh, I would smoke this in a case where I wanted to kind of sneak a cigar in or rush a cigar. Uh, I really like to, to take my time, and uh, it's, it's shining through as the cigar keeps going out. So I'm trying to drag it out as long as possible, and it's just uh, not happening with this one. Yeah, again, <laughs> uh, and that was just for me talking. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna relight, take a quick break, and. Uh, be back and we'll uh, we'll wrap up this uh, Davidoff Cigarillo and uh, I'll let you be on your way. So see you in just a sec. Well, welcome back, folks. I'm uh, wrapping up my uh, Davidoff Cigarillo and uh, having a bit a little bit of difficulty with this. I had mentioned that the uh, the head was very soft and uh, it's uh, it actually feels mushy now uh, from the little bit of heat. Uh, I'm sure you're not supposed to nub one of these little things, but uh, I'm going to do my best. The uh, the body's picked up some more. Uh, it's still medium. Uh, finish is, is smooth. Uh, it's got a little bit of a bite to it now, but uh, overall it's not bad. I mean, uh, it's a nice, consistent build uh, throughout the cigar, and a little bit of a bite just... Uh, I, don't know, I think it gives it a little bit of, a, of the edge that uh, the cigar needs to be well rounded, uh, just to round it out. But uh, I, I'm enjoying it. The uh, the base uh, the base flavor is uh, essentially the same as it was to start. It's uh, it's mainly woody. There's a uh, a little bit of saltiness, but it, it's not so much anymore. It seems to be fading uh, as that little bit of a bite uh, comes into the picture. Uh, that saltiness is kind of going away. But uh, overall, it's uh, it's certainly not a bad cigar. Um, I, I really did find it difficult to uh, to to fully enjoy the cigar because of how often it was going out. I'm really not a fan of of feeling as though I need to rush to a cigar. I like to to put it down and take my time. And uh, it's uh, it's one of those things only I know how long it should take me to smoke a cigar. Uh, this one's been very quick. Uh, I think it'll be on in 20 minutes now, and uh, I've never. <laughs> smoked an entire cigar in 20 minutes, but uh, again, uh, that's what this cigar is meant for. It's a small little cigar. It's supposed to be, you know, smoked in those you know crunch time frames when uh, you've got just a little bit of time, and uh, I think it does a, a very good job of of filling that uh, you know filling that situation very well. Uh, you know, it serves its purpose. It does well. It uh, it smokes nice. It's uh, I don't know that I'd be smoking very many more of them. Uh, it's not quite. Uh, 
the flavor profile that I prefer, but it's certainly not bad at all. I'd really like to try a bigger Davidoff to see how they compare. I'm sure they're worlds apart, but uh, I would really like to try another Davidoff just to see, you know, where the comparisons are. But uh, anyway, uh, here's your uh, your cigarette overview. Hopefully, uh, everyone found it helpful, useful. But uh, I'm running really short on the tape. I'm just, I'm expecting it to cut off. So before it does. Uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, taking the time to watch. Please uh, post comments, send emails, uh, you know, get questions in for uh, the, your questions, my answers. Uh, we've got a little bit of a change coming up. Uh, hopefully you'll uh, you'll you'll enjoy the uh, the change we've got in mind. So uh, or the addition, I should say, uh, without giving it away. I think I just did that. But anyway, uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I look forward to seeing you post comments, emails, all that good stuff. So. Uh, until next week, uh, happy